Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Q the Queen here, back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're liking the content, hit that like button. And if you want to comment, leave some feedback, share your thoughts, because I imagine everybody pretty much has a little bit on this shoe. Um, come on, drop them down in the comment section because me and my royals, <laughs> we talks about it. <laughs> now, I want to come in really quickly because I'm actually impressed by this. So the Paul George 4. Pictures have released by now. You may have seen some by now. I have some popped up by now. Um, and I'm very shocked and impressed. Just when I was thinking that Nike was not being creative with this shoe, I feel like they were just repeating the same design each year. I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Paul George is a baller, but I'm over it. I don't need the sneakers. This is just, this is a waste of time. All right, they came up with the PG4. Now, it gives me uh, basketball adapt vibes, uh, but overall it does, in my opinion, it has a lifestyle feel. Um, the zip up look to it, it looks like it's comfortable in terms of the technology within the midsole. Um, it looks like something that, even though it's obviously obviously a basketball shoe, it looks like it can be a, uh, Looks like it could be a lifestyle shoe in my opinion. One of the things about it though is of course the original colorway is just okay. But even with the pictures from the original colorway, you know, you kind of get an idea for what Nike is going to be able to do in my opinion. You, gotta, you get a feel for what they're going to be able to do in the future in terms of colorways. And I feel like with the right colorway, this particular shoe could be fire. Um, now the original colorway, which is I want to say it's just a black shoe. I don't know what the official official colorway would be called for, but it's basically it's just you know black, gray swoosh, uh, white midsole. So that'll be the original colorway. And then I also saw some uh, some Gatorade collaboration uh, pictures as well. So the Gatorade one also gives you a little bit of the possibilities. I'm not a huge fan of the Gatorade colorway, but again, it's early on. The original colorway shows me what they can do. So I would not be shocked if there's going to be a colorway that I might find interesting. Um, his very first, and honestly I haven't been interested in the Paul George since probably the very first Paul George. That original colorway, I think it was called Prototype. And then the, uh, the PlayStation version, which there was no way I could get my hands on because... Nike decided they wanted to do a draw at the last minute because the hype built up and it was just it was just a circus. So um, I still have yet to have a Paul George. Again, I have those couple that I actually like and would you know go back and get. But um, since then, it's been the Paul George Four, and um, and I think he might be able. Listen, if he can stay healthy, because that's that's been his problem lately. But if he can stay healthy and he balls out in these shoes next to Kawhi Leonard and they go deep into uh into the season, playoff season more so, oh man. This shoe might uh this shoe might be alright. Now, some of y'all might not like this, but look, I'm look, I I like it. I like it. Give it a give it a close look and really think about it. Think about some of the stuff you could rock with it. You know, think about, you know, maybe some of, I know some of you guys, you like to, you know, think of like jeans and all the extra stuff that you would do in terms of being able to pull it off. So if you, you do that wears like super baggy jeans, this ain't for you. <laughs> this ain't for you. But if you wear jeans that are, are tapered or tape, kind you know, kind of tapered toward the bottoms and, uh, you know, joggers that are tapered toward the bottoms, then this is going to be a shoe that you can pull off. Um, females, we, we got it. We got it automatically. We we will kill this shoe. Um, I'll tell you that. I'm already I can already see myself wearing this shoe. <laughs> Whether it be in the gym, uh training somebody or just, just out and about with it. Um, I could see myself rocking this shoe and, and enjoying it. So this original colorway is supposed to drop January twenty fourth globally. Based off of what I'm reading, it originally dropped in China and it's supposed to drop globally on the twenty fourth. So you know, uh, that again, the original colorway is not one I'm particularly looking for, but I'm sure we'll start to see a plethora of colorways because Nike does that <laughs> with their shoes. They really whore out all of their shoes. So, by the, the, you know, with my look, by the time I find a colorway, I'll be over the shoe, like just over it because Nike's going to overdo it. We know this. 
um, but I'm looking forward to some of the future colorways that we might possibly see with this. I'm also looking forward to actually having them in hand. I would love to see these in person. So if I'm able to, to pull that off, then I'm definitely expect, expect an in hand look on these for sure. Um, and again, let me know what you guys think. I want to come in really quick and talk about these. Nothing too crazy. Um, January is kind of quiet, but there are a couple of things that have caught my attention and, uh, want to talk about it. So hit that comment section and, uh, look out for the next video. And until next time, <laughs> royalty. <laughs>